guys. So, <laughs> so this morning, um, the girls were, Aiden, what are you doing, son? He's like, he's halfway in the hallway and he's halfway in the little room he plays in. And he just keeps like throwing his toys onto Narquise's mattress. Anyway, so the girls were playing outside this morning while they're waiting on the bu their bus to get there, um, or to get here rather. And uh, Narquise's bus always comes first. Hello, what is going on? <laughs> Narquise's bus always comes first, so the girls kind of have 30, 40 minutes in the morning to kind of play outside or you know, do whatever while they're waiting on their bus. Anyway, this morning they were playing like they were cooking, like they were just playing around our grill area. Like we have our grill kind of just in our driveway, off, well against the house in our driveway. Um, and Piper goes to open the top of the grill and she said, Mommy, we have a box! And I was like, what? <laughs> so I knew you guys, I knew that it was this one mailman <laughs> that does this. And it's it's humorous, but it's like at the same time it's not funny. Um, so I got a package, and I, was, I, I don't think it's been there long, um, but I'm really glad that Piper opened the grill because I never would have found it. Like seriously, never would have found this package. Um, so... And usually I check around the house, like I check both doors, I sometimes check the back door because they're weird like that. And usually if it's UPS or FedEx, they're great. They take it to my front door like it's supposed to be taken, like where you're supposed to take it. Um, but for some reason, some packages come through the mail, just the normal mail. And our mailman, it's like an Easter egg hunt, guys. It's, I feel like I'm hunting Easter eggs when this guy leaves packages at our house. I will find packages in the bushes. The grill is the strangest place I have found one. And I found one like, un it's hard to explain, like our stairs go up this way and then they turn and they go up this way. And underneath the bottom part, there's like an open area. I found a package just thrown under our stairs one day. Anyway, all of that to say, we found a package um, and it is from Mom's Vlog 80. Melody, you are so sweet. Um, I messaged her because I didn't know how long I'd had the package and I just, I didn't want her to think I was ignoring it or, you know, that we didn't get it or whatever. Um, and she said there's actually another one on the way. She's too sweet. Melody, really, you're too sweet. You do not have to do this. Um, but she sent a package and she sent, these are super cute too, guys. I'm just gonna show you guys. She sent these, and I already opened them because I like to touch and feel on things. <laughs> but uh, she sent these little bibs, and these actually would work great as just like, I'm actually not sure if they're bibs or like just little jewel catchers. I don't know. You could probably use them for both. Um, either way, these are ridiculously adorable, and I'm not sure if it was intentional, but Melody, you totally got like the theme of his nursery. Look at this. Teepees arrows and maybe this is just super common little boy stuff this is a color that's going in his room little trees that's going in his room look how cute that is i love it and i love that the black and white like newborn see like the contrast really well um so that is fun and I love the prints. I think you guys, I picked a super like popular theme for his room, but I just love it. It's so adorable. Anyway, I love these Melody. Thank you so, so much. She also sent some Baby Gannix um, face and hand wipes, which y'all, these are always <laughs> important. <laughs> I'm not gonna be graphic, but when you have a baby, these are important. So she also sent the Nuke gift set um some little baby bottles which are super cute um and i love having a lot of different baby bottles because you never know what your child is going to tolerate or what they're going to like um i may have one brand in mind that i think i want to use and then he may not even take it so i love these these are gonna be great for on the go um or really just anytime honestly um so thank you so much melody we love it you are you are beyond sweet and for those of you who do not know who Melody is, um, I will put a link to their channel below. If you don't know who, who they are, like, where have you been? Seriously. <laughs> anyway, I will post a link to their channel below. You guys should go check them out. They are awesome. And they are definitely one of my favorite YouTubing families. They are so, so sweet.
good evening guys okay so a little bit of another hectic day <laughs> um you guys the kids will be back in tomorrow's vlog i promise um it's just right now things are just a little nuts and our daily schedule is just like completely blown up so oh it is so hot in here oh my goodness so i am at my mom's house I've just been trying to clean up some things for her and get some laundry done and take care of her sweet little kitty. Her name is Daisy, by the way, because I know you guys are going to ask. <laughs> um, and kind of give her kitty some attention too because she loves her kitty and <sighs> she's a sweetheart. I miss having a cat, you guys. Um, I've just been trying to take care of a few things and get things in order and looking better so she doesn't come home to a complete mess because she was sick for a little while before she ended up going to the hospital so and my mom's always super neat and tidy anyway so <laughs> it's just it's not a lot to like actually do but anyway I'm washing her sheets and her bedding and a lot of her clothes and towels and just that sort of thing and I've got this hanging over her couch to dry there's Miss Daisy hi yeah, have you finally decided I'm not so bad? Huh? She still is a little iffy about me petting her, though. She doesn't super want me to pet her. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I am going to do some laundry and maybe do a few dishes. She's got like two pans in the sink, so. I'm gonna do that and then I am going to run back home. I already fed all the kids at home. They're finishing up homework and should be ready for bed by the time I get back to the house. So that is good. Also, you guys, if you guys ever wonder where, I, if you guys are new, by the way, I collect um, old vintage photographs from like early 18 or late 1800s, early 1920s, like the Edwardian era. Um, and if you ever wonder where I get that love from, there you go. <laughs> Um, of course, these are all family pictures, don't get me wrong. These are not just like random people like I collect, but I do definitely think that these lovely photos are kind of what spurred my, um, my love for old photographs. I just love what my mom did with these. I just, I think it's so creative how she did like the little ones and then these are all of my mom when she was little. And then it goes on up. This is one of my favorite ones. I think I've shown you guys this one before. This is my grandpa and his dog. And his dog is, would lead him by the hand to the mailbox. I just love it. I love my mom's style and her taste. And I think that this is kind of, <laughs> this is where I would want my house to be. But um, <laughs> I'm not there yet, you guys, clearly. Um, anyway, and she's got these pretty little bird plates up above there. Also, another love that I get from my mother, if you don't notice, she collects, and she, her collection is so much better than my collection. I have like two in my collection right now, but she collects these vintage teacups and saucers, and I just absolutely love her little collection that she has here. And it's funny, because I didn't know she started this collection, and I started one right around the same time and it was funny because we both realized, oh my gosh, we're collecting the same thing. <laughs> so it's crazy. Oh, also you guys, this little teacup right here, does this look, you, for long-term subscribers, you guys may recognize this. I have the exact same one and we got it from the exact same store <laughs> at different times. Anyway, I know that's super interesting. You guys probably don't care. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so laundry, fixing up the bed, making things pretty. And y'all, this is my mom's bedroom. What are you doing? You are so silly. You like me now, huh? You like me now? Yes, you like me now. Anyway, obviously we're cleaning up off all of this, but I love it. I think it's very beautiful. This is like, I told my husband, I look, I love the the chandelier too. I was like, if we ever have a nice bedroom and can like afford to get it redone or whatever, this is kind of along the lines of what I would like it to look like. I feel like my mom and I just, we have very similar tastes and things. 
and I love that the way she decorates is very classy and it's clean and it's not like showy or anything um I just love it anyway she's got her sweet little perfume bottles and I love that too with the mirrored bottom there's some there's Asa and I's engagement picture and there's me when I was a baby and then over here is another portrait of me when I was three. Let's see. Oh my goodness. I think most of her like portrait type things are in the other room. And then she has this one over here. She's got Zoe and then that's me. And then she's got Piper. <laughs> I think she has the boys somewhere too, but I think it's in the other room and the other room is super, super dark. What is, oh, I'm on Zoom. <laughs> Close up guys. I'm just showing you guys some of these things because my mom doesn't love to be on camera. Like I don't get to vlog my mom very much. Um, so you don't really see her space very much even though like we visit and everything. Like if this is just isn't a location where we really pull out the camera frequently. So I just wanted to show you guys. I love my mama. She is so sweet and I am very, I can't find the light switch. <laughs> I'm very thankful that this hospital visit is um, has turned out good and positive and she is doing well. Um, she is out of the ICU, she's not in ICU anymore, so she's doing awesome. Oh my goodness, Daisy. She wants to play so bad. I'm gonna have to play with this cat for a little while. She is missing my mom. You missing your mama? Huh? You missing your mama? I know. You missing her? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Can I take you home with me? You wouldn't like my house though. We have a puppy. Anyway, I think I have sufficiently played with the kitty. I am going to head on out. I'm gonna turn out all her lights. And, well, I might leave one on. Hang on. Yeah, I'll leave, I'll leave that one on. I don't want, I don't want people to think like just nobody's home, but. And then up here, let's see. I'm gonna make sure this door is locked. I just gotta be careful I don't let the cat in here because if I let the cat in here, she will come in here and tear up the furniture. My mom was like, check everything for me, please. Ooh, let there be light. What light did I just turn on with this one? I don't wonder if that switch does anything. Hmm. I'm not sure. Anyway, front door. Ooh, it's not locked. I'm glad I checked it. It wasn't locked, you guys. What are you doing? Look at this cat, you guys. <laughs> having a kitty so bad anyway house looks in order I am heading out